Hello, in today's video we are going to test this ASUS A88XM motherboard with an AMD Athlon A107870K 70 APU on the FM2 Plus platform. The first thing you might notice when you look at this motherboard is all the SATA ports. The A88X chipset supports. This chipset in question supports up to 8 SATA ports running at SATA 3 6 gigabits, making this motherboard ideal for a basic NAS setup. This APU has a total of 16 lanes of PCIe Generation 3. The board is overall feature rich, with 3 front USB headers, a USB 3 header and a PCI 16x slot, capable of the aforementioned PCIe Generation 3 speeds. A PCI slot and PCIe 1X slot. However, in today's video, we are going to be testing some games to see how well this aging APU can run some modern games. In this testing setup, we are running a SATA boot drive and 16GB of RAM and the AMD Athlon stock cooler. The operating system running these games is Windows 10 64 bit. And so the first game we're going to test is Roblox. And here I'm going to test the same games as last time, which are Brookhaven RP and Doors. This time I'm doing Brookhaven first. And, well, this already looks kind of better than the last video, but everything's taking a while to load. For some reason, there we are, play. Wow. I cannot describe how much better this feels than the last thing I tested it's like actually playable now well it was playable before but now it's just much more smooth around 60 FPS wonder if it's on the max yet skateboards work everything work we're in like a more high intensive vehicle bicycle yeah, I'm not really into RP, so. But from what I can tell, it runs fine. So we're just gonna move to doors next, and we're in. Already, the lobby feels better than it did. My other computer. We are still on the lowest graphics settings. Yep. So, we're just gonna get into a one person lobby. Just see how it runs. Here we are. In Roblox. Which is getting around locked on 60 FPS. I do keep in mind this is an APU. All integrated graphics. No Radeon GPU this time. And honestly, I'd recommend this computer if you're on a I mean this motherboard and CPU combo if you're on a very tight budget because it's running well. If you could just whatever's like good on eBay, because different listings, different times. But yeah, this motherboard seems to be cheap across the board. Can run Roblox well. Keep in mind this computer wasn't that much more expensive than the last one we tested. As well, how about the lighting effects on the lighter? Yeah, it renders that fine. Huh? I'm gonna turn up the graphics a bit, see how it handles on the fifth graphic setting. Okay, this is where it chops down a bit. It's more like 30 FPS here. But it's completely playable. I think that is enough doors gameplay for now. The next game we are going to test is Minecraft, which is updating. Keep in mind, I'm on the latest version, so not on like Optifine or anything, it's just latest, vanilla, complete version. As you can see, Minecraft is booted up, and here are my settings. I'm on 8 render distance chunks, and all of the lowest settings. So, I'm just going to join a test world. And I hope this runs way better than it did on our other computer, which could barely run this game. 
However, it is not looking like it at the moment. This is absolutely awful. Still. Oh no, it's actually smoothened out a bit. Okay. I can finally say Minecraft is playable on a computer we've tested so far. Except for the Asus P9X79 Pro motherboard. Eh, no, that was still not playable. Better than this. But yeah, way better than our last computer we tested. Fly around. Okay, yeah, it's a bit choppy, but not as bad as it was before. And just think, if you use Sodium or Optifine, how much more performance you could just squeeze out. Because if you stay on land, like if you're on survival, you get like 60 to 80 FPS on 8 render distance chunks, which is actually pretty decent. Or when you're fl flying in creative mode and all the chunks have loaded, you still get 40, 50 FPS. And it dips to that sometimes, but for the most part, it feels fine. If we do a quick TNT test here... And see how that performs. This wouldn't have been possible in the last machine. Keep in mind this this motherboard and CPU was like twenty five bucks compared to the ten bucks of the last machine. We're just gonna do this test. See how it performs. Yeah, that was actually pretty flawless to be honest. If I increase the render distance chunks here, maybe you can squeeze just a little more performance out of here. Huh? Yeah, honestly, it's fine. Huh? Maybe 16 render distance. I have a feeling that was a mistake. Eh. Ah, it looks okay. So, yeah, if you're just playing survival game runs okay. That's it for Minecraft testing. So I'm just going to save my world and quit. So next game I'm going to test is Fortnite. And as you guys knew from the last video, I was actually pleasantly su surprised with the performance. Even though some people said that it did not run well. I think it was okay. And we're in and it's as pixelated as ever. God. But the menu screen feels much more smooth than it did last time. Hey, 90 FPS on the menu screen compared to the 30 of last time. Keep in mind the system also came with the RAM for the amount we paid for, 25 bucks. And I have high hopes. I'm going to bump the 3D resolution up to 70%. That might be a mistake, but I'm trying it anyways. And we are just going to boot into a Battle Royale game. Just gonna play. Oh, we're in a little lobby area. And I think bumping up the 3D resolution may have been a bit of a problem here. Um, 1 FPS. Oh no, it's looking fine ish. Yeah, nah, this is not. I mean, to give it credit. It's not doing as bad as I thought, but actually no, it's doing worse than I thought. Let me let me just bump down the 3D resolution again, and that main menu FPS got my hopes up. Let's apply 30 3D resolution. Oh, this is actually playable. It okay. Well. No, it's playable. 60 FPS. But your eyes are going to die if you play this every day. Because you can see every individual pixel. Is there a chest anywhere near here? Don't know. Yeah, those 1% lows. Oh, there's a guy here. Can I kill him with just this pickaxe? I think I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah, I'm finished. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I might be able to run away. 
quick, get me a weapon, please. Oh, just open the door. Where? Chest, where are you? Oh, no, I'm finished. Wait, no, there's a chest here. Yes. They gave me everything but a gun. Oh, no, I'm finished. See your body. Is there a chest in here? No, there's a chest. There's nothing in there. <gasps> there's a weapon here. No, I don't. I don't think this is a weapon. <laughs> She's just running away. Yes, weapon. Finally, I can kill this guy off. Where is he? Yeah, I have a feeling this isn't gonna go very well. Hey, I got him! Let's go! Kill on like 20 pixels! I don't think there's another person here, so I can increase the 3D resolution. So maybe we can get away with it just a little bit more. Hey, it's actually pleasant to look at now. And we didn't sacrifice much FPS, we're getting around 50 to 60. Well, no, more like 40 to 50. But eh! One's fine-ish. Let's do some heavy building or something. Yeah, I don't play this game. I can't build. But yeah. Yeah, one's fine-ish. So, the next game we're going to test is CS2. And we're in. And now, because I am... Um, I mean, CS2 is a much newer game... And the rest of these, I'm going to have to turn the resolution down as I have done right here because it just won't run properly on high resolutions. And right here, I've gotten the lowest settings all turned on except for this because it'll just look horrible on anything lower. So we're just trying our best here, and yeah. Let's just hop into a game. Dust 2 Deathmatch. See what happens. And now we're in, so I'm just gonna join CT. Oh god, this is awful. Can't really move my mouse properly. Oh, this is awful. I can't remove my mouse properly. Oh, okay, it's running okay ish. We've got to fix some mouse sensitivity issues here. Keyboard and mouse. Mouse sensitivity, there you go. Oh, uh, just keep in mind that I'm playing on OBS Capture Card. Not, no, not even OBS Capture Card. I'm playing on Pi KVM, which is really hard to actually try and play on. Apart from that, the game's running fine-ish. It's getting like a 40-ish FPS. Oh, oh, no. Oh, we got a kill. Ah, never mind. So yeah, we're looking to about 35, 40 FPS. Which isn't bad for, you know, this old of a system. F for such a low cost. You know, 25 bucks. Like, damn, it's pretty good. Oh, keep dying here. And these CPU temps are incredibly inaccurate. Like, what is that? Oh, door stuck. Okay, let's just try this. Oh, no. Can't move my mouse properly here. I can try. Oh.
so yeah. Yes, finally I got another kill. Oh, got to move my mouse around to... Oh, oh no. Okay, this is not... It's not looking too good here. Not, not at all, not at all. I think on the screen just right now, I'm going to show like my POV to show how bad this really is. And so next, we are going to look at the PC's idle power use. The CPU has a TDP of 90 watts. So when the system is idle on the desktop, it idles at about 35 watts and about 6 watts to the CPU as you can see here now. Let's go run Cinebench R23 multi-core test. While this runs, the CPU is using almost exactly 90 watts, and the system in total is using about 150 watts from the mains. And now the test is done, with a score of 1811, which I am a little bit disappointed based on how the i3 from the last video performed, but at least this APU can outperform a GT710. And so the single core score we got was 557, concluding the Cinebench R23 tests. Now we are going to test WebGL Aquarium. And on 30,000 fishes, we get around 20 to 30 FPS. And so that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.